Russia is interested in major war in Middle East. The massive missile and drone attack by Iran on Israel on the night of April the 13th to the 14th instantly became the top priority of the international agenda. With support from a number of Western and Arab countries, Israel's air defense successfully handled the attack with minimal damage. Now, in the Middle East and beyond, all eyes are on Israel's response. The country's leadership has assured that a response will come, but its format and timing remain secret. The retaliation will come at a moment when Iran least expects it, says Arkady Mil Man, Israeli diplomat, who served as ambassador to Moscow from 2003 to 2006 and previously led Israeli diplomatic missions in Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan. Milman currently heads the Russia Studies program at the Israeli Institute for National Security Studies. Diplomat told RBC Ukraine that following the Hamas terrorist attack on Israel last October and after Russian authorities and propagandists clearly outlined their position in that story, Russia has become a close ally of Iran, making it clear to the Israeli population that Russia is not a friendly country for them. However, Israel's political and military establishment is only just realizing this. According to him, on October the 7th, Russia unequivocally took an anti-Israel pro-Hamas position. 100%. It became clear to the entire population, all civilians, everyone began to understand that Russia is an absolutely unfriendly country. If a harsh response by Israel is potentially chosen, for example, a strike on Iranian positions, this exchange of attacks between Iran and Israel turn into a full-scale war involving many countries in the region. Arkady Milman says that all of this could escalate into a large regional war, if not bigger than that. And, by the way, Russia is very interested in this. These strikes by Iran on Israel were beneficial for them now because everyone forgot there was a war in Ukraine. He added, a total of 400 to 500 missiles and drones will be fired at Israel from Iran, Iraq, Syria, southern Lebanon and the Houthis, ABC News outlet reported, citing an unnamed U.S. official. The source said that the bulk of missiles will be launched from the territory of Iran. The drones are the same kind used in Ukraine, according to the source. Meanwhile, U.S. media also report that President Joe Biden will address the nation from the Oval Office today. According to the latest reports, Biden has already arrived in the Oval Office. Israeli Defense Forces reported on Saturday night that Iran launched drones and cruise missiles at Israel. Amid the escalation of the tension in the region, Egypt, Yemen, Iraq closed their air paces. Meanwhile, U.S. Air Force fighter jets have been scrambled over Iraq and Jordan to combat Iranian drones, the Al Qahira Al Akbariya TV channel reported. <laughs> شوف 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 جاي انطلقا جاي انطلقا هاي منا 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 هلا بيهن هلا شوف 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 هلا بيهن هلا 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 بيهن وين ما يطيحن خي يطيحن اضرب ولا تبالي اضرب يا مهدي صاروخ ايراني صاروخ ايراني بس طحت هاي درونات هاشم والله وانا بس خلي اشوف ذاك 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 يا عمي هذه هذا حقت على راحت اسرائيل الدهره ابو هاي درونات من الناصري هاي اسرائيل